wait, I want to cleanse. Um, hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez. Sorry, I am uh, just doing a Palo Santo really quickly. I asked my angels and my archangels to help um, uh, bring positive energy and uh, reinforcement as well for the reading. I'm going to be doing a collective message all about uh, what do you need to know most. I want to thank you all for being here. I was thinking about doing an all science reading. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I just couldn't. I was filming all day today. Um, I know I love you. No, I care. No, you mean the world to me. And hmm, I think that's it. Sorry, I want to make sure I have everything I need. Hmm. You know what? I think I might actually end up using these as well. I'm going to use this deck. Anyway, um, uh, we're going to look at mystery messages that kind of are uh, what you need to know and then take it from there. So let's just get started. By the way... Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to be um, that's cleansing the energy. Let's take a look here. So let's look at like the overall. Um, sorry, it's nice. Um, the overall um, energy, the overall message, right, for this reading, um, for what do you need to know most for everyone that's watching. I just saw one, one, one on the camera. I want you to know I see that number everywhere. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, it means something, but I see it everywhere I go. <laughs> but um, let's see. So for pile, not pile one, um, for the collective, what do they need to know most? We have your first one's going to be communicate freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. Interesting. I, you know, um, something that I've noticed, and actually I was just thinking about it right before I started reading. Like we have like um of like a very um a, a core to us, right? A very like a very deep um. Sorry, my dog is barking. Uh, we have a core to us, right? We have a very deep version of us. And this voice, sorry, this part of us has a voice. I feel like you may be accessing these parts. It could be your soul, actually, what it feels like to me. Um, uh, we have uh, soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. Interesting. Hmm. What is the overall energy surrounding uh, this reading? Uh, we have two more. We have receiving from angels, a <laughs> shimmering wings of angels embrace me with love. Interesting. Hmm. You know, um, one of the biggest things that I feel that a lot of us struggle with is the ability to ask for help, right? And the ability to open ourselves up to receive. And I know that it's like the craziest thing, but every single time we ask, we always receive. I know we never feel that way. I know it never quite looks like the way we thought it was going to look. I know it never quite feels the way we thought it was going to feel. But in reality, every time we ask, we receive, right? We get what we ask for. We get what we need from that experience. I know that um, maybe right now you're feeling voiceless, right? Maybe right now you're feeling, um, uh, feelings of despair or low vibrations and you're having a hard time picking yourself up from the chaos or picking yourself up from that low vibration, um, that's that, you, that you're in, um, uh, to soar again, to feel joy again. The message here is to keep asking one thing that when it comes to like dark forces or, low vibrational entities that, you know, or even people that come into our life that wreak havoc, um, it, it, it's, it requires persistence, right? It requires you continuously fighting for yourself, fighting for better and fighting for more. I don't know what's got you down um, and what seems to be dragging you down lately. Um, maybe this is a recurring theme or maybe it's something all, all of a sudden, but um, it's, it requires persistence to get through it, right? Nothing short of that is actually going to get you... Um, Sorry, uh, nothing short of that is actually going to get you through it, right? Um, you have to, it's not about being stronger, right? It's about being more willful. And I know that that's crazy, but it is the truth, right? Um, I, I've had plenty of experiences where I've had a lot of low vibrational energy surrounding me, and it was nothing but um, but perseverance that got me through it. I won because I wasn't going to give up, right? Um, you know, sorry, it is the truth, but the reason why we fight matters more than you could possibly imagine. And when someone's trying to oppress you versus you trying to defend yourself or you trying to better your life, those are two very different reasons. And one is bigger than the other, right? One is more, um, one will last longer than the other, all right? Um, so make sure whatever reason you are fighting for is one that's gonna outlast your opponent or outlast whoever or whatever you're dealing with, all right? We have letting go coming through as well. This is about you embracing flow. I was reading one of the roomy cards, um, the Rumi or from the Rumi Oracle. Um, I, 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 I felt called to, sorry, why is this all crooked? Hmm. It's like that better. Anyway. Um, and, 
uh, it reminded me of, of of divine love, right? Of being loved unconditionally. I feel here, um, uh, you know, sometimes we tend to grab onto stuff and we we don't trust or we don't believe or we don't um, uh, hope, right? Uh, I feel like letting go and surrendering um, uh, and remembering that you are loved is key to you making it through this as well. And it's not like trying to control everything. Um, it's leaning back in. All right, we have letting go, and then it came up with one last one: hearing messages from spirit. Um, this is also another one. Uh, one of the biggest things that got me through my very tough cycle that I'm currently in, everyone, is channeling. Right, the ability to channel, the ability to receive, the ability to remember, feeling connected, and feeling, um, uh, feeling my spiritual team and uh, you know the beings that are helping me. Um, uh, it's one of the best things that you can do. So I feel like who I'm talking to are people who are in a bit of a, uh, a dark place, are in a bit of stillness, right? And you're trying to overcome it, um, but there's something oppressing you, or there's something that's confining you, and you're you're um, uh, you're overcoming it nonetheless. I do feel though, you want to make sure your reason why you are going to fight is going to outlast whatever is trying to force you down. All right. You want to outlast them. And that's the point. Oh, you don't need to win, right? You don't need to beat them. You need to outlast them. And I know it's crazy, but it is the truth, right? Outlasting is far more important in the end. Uh, with the receiving um, or hearing messages from spirit and communicating freely, asking for help and receiving is, is, is uh, you know, those go intertwined, right? Um, you know, open yourself up to receive, open yourself up to, um, uh, by speaking it, right? Asking for help or even asking for messages. I don't normally do this often, but I even channel for myself. I actually don't normally do that, but I, I do do that sometimes, right? Um, that is helpful for you. Um, but when I do readings for people, that is in some ways for me. But I mean, other than that, you know, personally is what I mean. With the receiving from angels being at the heart, I feel like the angels have um, blessings and gifts for you. Um, open yourself up to receiving uh, their support. Um, one thing that you can count on is angels really do want to help. <laughs> um, they they really do adore you as well, but they want to help, but you have to ask for their assistance. All right. Um, letting go stands out to me a lot as well. Um, there is power in surrendering. There truly is. There's power in surrendering. I feel here um, surrendering to... Um, uh, to the flow, right? To the direction that life's taking you um, uh, is going to help as well. With stepping into stillness here, we have my power is born in the um, majesty of silence. Mm -mm -mm. That crescent moon, I've been seeing it everywhere as well. Uh, very, very potent energy. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm seeing the crescent moon everywhere. The ones that are, as well as the crescent moon. I feel here, um, uh, there's power in silence, right? Um, there's power in taking moments of silence throughout your day, right? Of just, just sitting still and thinking to yourself, um, uh, sorry, uh, even presence, all right? Um, a presence as well. We have a step, sorry, believing in magic. Um, true magic is abounding in my life. You know, um, Opening to love is key. Um, I do feel with magic being on the table, you know, um, it's not like things are going to be fixed magically, right? Or, or overnight, right? Um, but asking consistently, um, uh, receiving consistently, opening yourself up to um, that divine guidance consistently. These are things that are going to give you an edge over whatever is trying to oppress you right now, or whatever is trying to get you down, and whatever is an insistent on um, on keeping you small. All right. Um, it's nothing but consistency with that. Right. Um, don't be afraid right, to keep asking. And uh, one thing that has been a big hindrance for me, everyone, is when I've asked for help, when I've asked for assistance and I didn't feel like I got it. Um, it was so disempowering. Right. Know that you always receive it. They've told me that, too. I promise you. They tell me this. Like I gave it. Right. You know, it's just um, I, I know. I know. I know. Right. Keep asking, keep receiving, keep opening yourself up, and you will slowly but surely start to see those results. You will move through whatever tough cycle that you're currently in. Um, I feel like you're on a um, on a wheel, right? Um, and you may dip, right? And you may feel at the top like that. I feel that wheel over and over again. Um, consistently ask to stay above, right, at the top. So let's take a look here. I want to grab... Mm, Oh, no. we're going to grab this one. So let's see. Why did, um? what does pile, or what does the collective, I mean, sorry, I've been doing pick card readings all day. What does the collective need to, uh, to know most, right? What does everyone that's going to watch this video need to know most? What do they need to know most, please? What do they need to know most? All right. It's actually this card, not that one. Um, 
the first card we have is going to be the Emperor and Zerverse. Interesting. You know, um, uh, there's, uh, I feel like there is a need to make sure that you're actively using your masculine energy. Um, this is about taking, uh, conscious choices, uh, using your power to free yourself, but it's an odd thing. I want to say grounding comes to my mind. Um, do you know when you use your willpower and you push yourself out of something, I'm going to give you one of the best examples for this. Let's say you're, you walk into a waiting room, you check in and you realize you don't want to go or you don't want to be there. You don't want to wait that long. And then there's like this energy around you. That's kind of oppressing you, making you say, stay right. Or, you know, you shouldn't go right. That's just your own energy. I think, I don't know, but um, you know how much energy it takes to get up and do it. Even though it feels awkward. That is what I mean by using that mask energy, right? That moment, moments like that throughout your day that you feel like I shouldn't do something. I, 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 I actually, I should do it, but you feel like, but there's something keeping you stuck, right? Um, you need to push through that. You need to utilize that masculine energy and get up, right? Um, and push through it. Um, I, how I like to approach those situations, I don't think about it, right? I just do. And I want to tell you this, everyone, um, just do it. All right. Um, uh, with the three of swords being here as well, um, it's about heartache as well. I feel like your heart, um, this feels like it, it, it's, it's not saying that your heart's feminine, but I feel like your heart um, uh, and your mask energies need to be healed, resolved, and it's going to help you um, uh, bring you back into more balance. All right. Again, I know, hope that scene or that, that example is a good one. I know I felt it many times where he's just like, I, I want to get up or you want to use the washroom. And it's just like, you know, you just, you just feel like you shouldn't uh, do it, do it, do it. All right. Push through it. All right. Um, anyway, let's grab some more cards here. Uh, we have the two of swords here as well. Hmm. Just because you can't see the help that you're receiving doesn't mean you're not receiving it. Um, just because you can't see, um, uh, I feel the silver lining or a reason, even a reason to laugh doesn't mean there isn't one. All right. We'd have three of cups here and there's reverse. <clears throat> the four of wands and then can i have a last card yeah judgment and then we're gonna take the last one's going to be the king of pentacles here mm, grounding really does help utilizing that mask energy is really key to getting yourself through whatever tough cycle you're in the two of swords and the three of cups reverse is interesting mm. don't keep people places and things in your life simply because there's nothing else be willing to dis uh, not discard be willing to release, surrender, and let go of anyone or anything that is not no longer in alignment with your greatest good. I want to say a really good way to, to describe how to do this is what you resonate with versus what you don't, right? Only keep people, places, and things in your life that you resonate with. Everything else that you that you has no longer is no longer of use, no longer of purpose, or maybe never has had a purpose or use. Start to release those things, right? Um, uh, start to let those go, and you're gonna slowly start to come up, right? I feel like there are people around you or things around you or situations around you that are making you feel very low vibrational, right? Um, be willing to, to um, release those from your life. Be willing to um, let them go and um, uh, free yourself. One thing that comes from divine is that on your path, when you surrender and the flow, you're going to release everything, um, all of this. I don't know what this is exactly. Um, Maybe it's toxic work in my room. I actually got that earlier for a prep for not a private reading, pick a card reading. I was, I was a little surprised at that, but maybe it's a toxic work environment. Maybe um, this is your familial connection, right? Maybe it's your friend group, right? That they don't treat you right. Be willing to let them go and let flow, right? Take care of the take care of the rest. And they will slowly flow away from you, right? Um, but it requires you to be to be more honest about um <laughs> releasing them. With the four of wands and it's reverse, I feel. Um, one of the biggest things that I think makes you hold on to whatever this is, the negativity, um, is you don't want to cross that threshold alone. I know it's scary, right? You know, um, whatever goal you're going towards or whatever you want for yourself ultimately in your life, you may want these people with you. But I don't know if you if they're part of that that picture, right? I don't know. In fact, I'm pretty sure they may not be. And the message that's coming through the strongest is um, don't assume they are, right? Do you resonate with them? No, right? If you don't, then make those choices to start less letting them go and be willing to walk that, um, cross that threshold all by yourself, all right? With judgment being here and the emperor, I see you going through a bit of a spiritual awakening. Um, the trumpet reminds me of, is it Archangel Jophiel? Sorry. I've been doing a, a, a meditation lately and it's been helping me, but um, 
uh sorry the horn anyway um uh i can't remember it could be gabriel i forgot but um you know uh th these shift even the darkest of energies right um that that horn that sound um i feel like you can cough for your angels um whatever angel you feel caught sorry uh guided to um i would actually ask your archangels to help heal your heart center as well right that's a key one for you for a lot of you so i feel like the heart needs to just be healed um i feel like it needs to be uh um, I, I feel like it needs to be soothed. Some of you have a bruised heart. I know it sounds crazy, but um, a sensitive heart. Um, ask the archangels to help soothe that. And uh, it will make things a little bit easier as you move through this. Um, anyway, sorry, this is like a real crazy reading. We have the four of cups here. Um, a part of you, and this is just the, me talking to a part of you. By the way, hi, everyone. I know I just started channeling like crazy, but um, anyway, a part of you, um, and I'm just saying this is a part of you, may want to stay in a bad situation, right? You don't know why. I don't know why, I, I, but you have to you know, be more conscious about that and make the choice that I don't want to be, right, and, um, and rise up from that because you are being stuck or you're, you're going to stay stuck or drained or I even want to say um, pacified by these energies and you want to overcome them. The, the tree stands out to me. The most tree, it, whatever this is, this is long standing in your life. I don't know how long it's been. How long does it take to grow a tree? I don't know, right? Um, but it, whatever these energies are, they've been in your life for quite some time. Um, too long, really, right? Um, you may be very stable with them as well. These could be friend groups or familial connections. You may be very, very stable with them. And I'll be real honest with you. Like you may be so used to this, these energies, may be so used to this lack, this anxiety, this tension, um, that you don't notice that it's negative. I, I know it's the craziest thing in the world to say, but you may not be aware like this, like this isn't right. I remember uh, when I, um, I, I started to really be uh, fine tune my energy and really, really focus on what made me feel good. Um, I mean, I was on it, right? I knew the subtle, the subtleness of a negative energy around me. Like I just knew it. I'm like, no, right. I feel here, uh, um, everyone that you're so used to some of these energies. You're not aware that they're even around. It's not that crazy. If you think about it, right. Um, I feel like this could be familial stuff, right. Our or um, friendship connections that lasted too long or lasted, um, I don't know, a really long time. Um, uh, these these are the things that you want to uh, pay attention to. I don't know. I would ask the higher self. Um, I would ask your higher self uh, your um, uh, to actually um, identify these things in your energy field and start to release them, okay? With the King of Pentacles being here, we have goals. There's something, there's some kind of goal you want for yourself. There's some kind of ambition you want for yourself, something that truly, truly, truly matters to you. Um, it requires you, by the way, my kitty only comes for special readings, by the way. He's, sorry, he always comes me, uh, for those special readings, all right? Um, by the way, hello, baby. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, um, uh, I feel like there's some real serious goals that you have for yourself. These goals are attainable, but it requires some letting go of some stuff, right? And this includes those energies. Um, um, you may be used to um, boredom as well, um, or uh, fill your, your, your day up with some passion, with some um, creativity, or with some joy. And these things are really going to be game changing for you, everyone, all right? The King of Wands is there again. Um, this is about you taking control of your life. Rather than letting your life control you or the circumstances control you, you take control of it. All right. Anyway, sorry. Um, hmm, that's a crazy reading. Uh, let's see, let's see. So, what is your I actually want to take this? What is your guidance, please, for um for everyone? What is the guidance or other methods? No, let's look at other messages right now for everyone. Any other messages uh for um, the collective, right? What do they need to know most? We have the eight of wands. I love this eight of wands. Set up, set whatever needs to be set on fire, on fire. Just do it, right? Do you. I do feel with the eight of wands being here, um, it's kind of reminds you of shooting stars, um, as well. I kind of reminds you of that firebird, right? You know, um, uh, you know, I know it's a crazy thing to say, but, um, I think it's in Australia, but there's like some firebird that just lights stuff on fire to like flush out, you know, it's prey so it can go and eat. Um, I feel like you may, um, you may need an experience like this. Uh, I know it's so crazy. I do have a Phoenix transmission. I do recommend I may do that tomorrow. Um, sorry, I've been on my, my I mean, it's just constantly heal. Um, I've been on those meditations, but, um, 
I feel like you have um, a need for this. You need to flush out these energies from your life, right? And you may need to set something on fire to do it, right? We have the Ten of Swords reversed. This Ten of Swords is actually real brutal, real bloody too, right? And it's reversed here. I feel the worst is over. Mm. It is, by the way. I can feel it. I can feel it. But you, it's 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 done a number on you, hasn't it? It's hurt your heart, hasn't it? Um, uh, it's caused a lot of pain, hasn't it? Right. Um, you need to regenerate yourself. I feel here as well, like your body, like your physical body needs a break. Like it just needs a break. Like it can't go on much longer, right? It like literally needs a break. Give yourself that time. Give yourself that break. Um, you can take a candlelit bath. That would really work. Sorry, that that one comes out a lot. But I feel um, uh, candles, right? Um, whatever, I don't know, I, warmth of them. Mm. I'm trying to figure out why the candles is, are standing out to me. But um, maybe if a uh, like candlelight is soothing. I know it sounds crazy, but um, I'm going to leave it like that. Sorry, I can tell. I, I, it's whoever meant was meant to receive that message. I gave it to them, but I, I have a scene. I want to give it, um, I feel like maybe, um, lighting candles will help. Um, uh, you know, having candles around you will help. I'll leave it like that. It's an odd thing to say, but I'm gonna leave it. All right. We have the seven of swords. This is what I meant by candles, by the way, but uh, you do you. All right. I'm seeing that smoke in the background, the seven of swords here as well. Um, there are things I, you know, um, that you may need to face some shadow maybe as well. Um, these things are not as uh, big as you may think they are. All right. Um, I want to get like, give you like the, like the, the most crazy example. Um, you know, a lot of times we tend to think like, like ghosts are scary or, um, and like these and like low vibration entities are scary, but when we look at them, when we really look at them, we understand there's not much to fear there, right? I feel like you have some boogeyman, right? Um, some uh, some uh, uh, this can even be people, right? When you send up to them, they they shrink real fast, right? Um, I feel like there are people, places, and things in your life that look scarier, but once you face them, you will see that they're not actually all that scary. In fact, they're probably um just a shadow. In fact, they may be 2D, right? Uh, we have here the two of coins and it's reversed. I do feel um, the lack of change is the, probably the most disempowering thing that you're currently going through. Nothing else, by the way, the lack of change, it seems to be the disempowering thing. And uh, the messages that are coming through for you, um, everyone, is don't look at it logically in your heart do you feel like you're moving forward do you feel like you're making a difference or do you feel like change is happening i, I feel like it is i feel like slowly but surely you're doing that you have to push ahead and you're going to be okay we have the two of swords um again two swords a bit different that crescent moon's coming out again um you're at the tail and you're about to finish whatever this is. Um, I feel like you, you, it, the worst is over and the, it, you're about to finish it sooner than you think. I no, no, I I'm, I'm going to try my best to watch that April, that, that, that eclipse, by the way, I don't, I'm not living anywhere near it, but I want to see it at least get the crescent, I guess. But I want to be honest with you. I feel like it's that, but um, maybe about that time, you're going to feel a lot better, right? We have your last one is the queen of wands, push everything out everything out that's not yours, right? Push it all out. Get rid of everything. Um, leave, sorry, take no prisoners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have the seven of coins and it's reverse. Seven of coins reverse is um, wasted time, wasted effort. But I, I want to say, mm, I want to say it has to do with this, right? I feel like there's a lot of investment with these people, places, and things that you think, well, letting go now, what's like, why would I do that, right? It's for your highest good, right? Um, I, if, it, it's, if it's meant for you or if it's right for you, it will be further down the line you won't lose it right i feel like the message here is to be willing to like let go you know um that scene in a movie when you're riding your bike and you you go with no you you take your hands off the handlebars and you just keep pedaling and you just trust that is what you need to do to get through whatever you're in all right um that moment is what's going to get you through all right mm. sorry it's like crazy stuff anyway i want to put this away so um i just wanted to pull these again i sorry, I pulled another tarot deck, but uh, let's grab some more. By the way, my kitty's still here. Um, it's okay, baby. I don't want him to feel a little brisk breeze and have to leave. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. So can I have guidance for um, for for everyone on, on this message? Again, this is a, a pretty... Um, I can tell this is a pretty tough cycle. I know. I, I, I'm feeling it too, right? Um, you're going to make it through this. That crescent moon again. Sorry, I don't know if I pointed that one out, but I see crescents everywhere. Right? We have friendship. Interesting. 
Uh, we also have relaxation. I feel like surrounding yourself with connections that feel safe, that you feel um, uh, love you, um, that you feel support you, that love you unconditionally, that, that offer that love as well. Those are the kind of connections that you want around you, not whatever is currently surrounding you. you I feel like a lot of you may have gotten used to connections that are subpar, are used to connections that are, are insufficient, right? You need to remind yourself the good stuff, the best stuff. And you're going to compare and contrast between what you know is best, right? Or what you know is the good stuff versus what you currently have in your life. And you're going to make a clear decision to let go of what's currently there because it's just not good enough, right? Um, remember this always. You deserve the best. And um, it des deserving the best requires you to say no. I know how big of a deal that is, right? Um, be willing to say no to not. So what's not for you? Um, anything less is insufficient. Say no, say no, say no. And never regret saying no, right? One thing that I've always held true is I'd rather be alone than accept things that are less than. And I feel like a lot of you will benefit from that one, all right? Uh, we have relaxation. You're going to want some uh, experiences that help you relax. Uh, again, I'm seeing a bath, candle, candlelight, um, Fire, fireplace as well. That one's a good one, by the way. It's real nice and good. Um, we have letting go. I know, I know. I know how hard letting go of this is. One of the biggest things that um, has been a, a, a harder for me throughout my life is, actually, I don't think it's been that hard. I do it real easy, but is, um, I, I mean, I, I just, I just, I just know. Um, I, I, is letting go of connections that are no longer, um, that no longer bring enough, right? I feel like you need to really start to ask yourself is whatever I'm having in my life or whatever this is, um, it's not enough. Why am I holding on to it? Right. Um, I feel like the message is, is you, you, there's lack, right? You have lack consciousness. Um, you may have poverty consciousness, right? And you're having a really difficult time believing that you, right? You, not that it exists, you will find better. And my message is that you will absolutely find better. And I know, um, I know it's not about whether it exists. It's about whether you can get it, right? Um, know that you can and know that it's it's possible. And remember, do not settle. I, I know, I know. Um, Maybe uh, life's wear you, worn you down and it makes you not want to settle for less than. You should not be settling, um, uh, uh, everyone. You should not be settling. Remember, you need you deserve unconditional love, right? Unconditional love. We have mystery. Mm, it's your message, by the way. Real sexy one, by the way. I mean, um, this, this one's really going there for, for me. But uh, with the mystery being here, um, this is about you walking into the unknown. Right? You don't know where you're going to go, what you'll meet, who you'll meet, what's going to play out. Um, you, I, I guess you, uh, I, I know you won't, but you don't know if you'll regret it, right? Um, all of these things play into our mind when we're thinking about making choices and taking control of our life, right? Um, trust that whatever is in front of you, right, you know, when you make that choice, it's not enough, that it's not enough. That's all you need to know to make the choice to let it go, right? It's the only thing, right? It's the only thing that you need to hold true to yourself. This isn't enough for me, period, end of story, and let it go. And be willing to uh, walk that path into the unknown. We have two more cards turned away. Um, it is all about that right now. Be willing to turn away. Um, don't look back, I guess, but you can you if you want to. Um, but I feel the further along away from this that you are, the more you're going to understand um, that it's not enough, right? Or that it wasn't enough and that you are that you did the right thing. Um, even though you may want to, um, hmm, sorry, this is a real sexy image, by the way. Even though you may want to, um, uh, keep this. I feel you'll know when you're and when you move forward that it was for the best. There's blessings forward, right? Um, there's like there's gifts for for those that um that's I'm sorry. I don't want to say for those that say no, but there's there's so much more in, in your sorry uh, down the road than there is in front of you, right? Don't stay there. Ah, I swear there's a story. Um, there's a tale. I swear that I'm getting. Um, Ah, ah, anyway, it's it's so close. Um, this story is not from this lifetime. Um, it's from a past life, uh, but I don't remember it. Um, anyway, we have hope here. There, that's all it is. I was at the um at the lake, everyone, and I was doing a guided meditation, and I saw this, and I knew it was God. Um, it was actually real nice, by the way. Um, anyway, um, I tell you this because, um, it matters. Sorry. I don't know why I want to say that, but I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see. Let me grab some more. Um, I think I'm going to do this one. 
All righty. So let's take a look here. Uh, I don't know what I want to pull next. Let me let me let me think about this. I mean, I was just channeling everything. Um, by the way, hi everyone. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, let's see how, how. Let's see what's every. Let's see what's going on. Um, let's see if there's any other messages that they want to give or bring forward. Are there any other messages that you want to give for um, everyone that's watching um, about what they're currently going through, um, how what they're experiencing? Let's see what else is going to come through. Um, let's see. Beautiful. We have, um, it's going to be strength. Ooh, uh -huh. unconditional love keeps popping in my mind, but strength is a little bit lower than unconditional love. It's like just at the very top of the heart, right? I feel like compassion <laughs> is that, that's the one. Um, okay, we have strength with compassion. I'll leave it like that. We have temperance reversed. All right. Mm. Let's take a look here. We have strength uh, and temperance reversed. We also have the four of coins. Okay. Hmm. Do you know when you have uh, kids, um, you want the absolute best for your kids. Like you just, like you truly just don't want less for them. Like you, I mean, honestly, I, no joke, you'd rather die, right? You Then your kids get less. And I feel like this is a message from me to you, right? I know that you may be thinking about settling or you may be thinking about um, having less for yourself. Um, but my message to you is to not settle, right? What would you do if, if, if it was your kid in, in, in this choice, right? Um, you can imagine your inner child being there. That could help. But what if, what if you looked at it from uh, your own child's perspective and they were dealing with this? What would you say to them? Um, how would you, what advice would you give to them? Would you give them settle, right? Wait, um, just to hold your heart says, no, 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 uh, you wouldn't in any way, shape or form. In fact, you would tell them to fight and keep going and keep trying and keep, um, striving for more uh, because they deserve more. This is my message to you, everyone. I know that, um, you may want to settle or you you may want to give up or you may want to give in. But the message here is to not. Uh, with the four of coins here, what would you tell your child, right? What would you? I mean, it's a it's a fair question. I um, I feel it's a fair question. Um, you may not think it's fair because um, um, you're tired or you're exhausted. Um, you know, uh, again, this is that moment with that letting go is when you rely on our your support, right? Um, the support that's helping move you through life, lean on them and let them. Um, I feel like you've you've done a lot for yourself, or you've been picking, or you've been moving a lot for yourself. It's time to lean on some of that support and ask for some help. All right, we have the three of coins in its reverse. And then we also have the page of coins in its upright. And the bomb is going to be the ten of swords. Um uh the end is, is is near right i can see that by the way but um with the sorry the the three of coins reversed here the three of coins is a bit different you see this like there's like you know that woman there's these two i don't know um people chasing her right um i feel um i feel like you're gonna move through this uh you know um uh as well the page of coins with the strength being here you need to remind yourself why you do it right why you're pushing through and why you're not giving up for yourself and again um what advice would you give your child so i think that's it i think i'm gonna leave it there everyone i don't i don't, nothing else is coming through i try to do another message but i'm good <laughs> anyway um I want to thank you all of you for this message. Um, I did not expect this, but I knew I wanted to do a reading today. So uh, I want to thank you all. I want to give my love, my appreciation for liking. I do want to let you all know that um, I feel you, right? Um, I understand what you're going through. I um, I know that life's a little tough right now. Um, but one thing you can count on, everything ends right? Everything ends. That's the point, right? Everything that starts completes. And I know that this will. I know that you will get through this tough cycle, you will overcome it, and you're going to get to the top, right? But you can't give up on self, right? That's the point. Um, you can't give up on what's ultimately what you deserve, right? I feel like you deserve the best. And the best is forward, right? Or the best is somewhere um, down the road than it, um, not currently where you are, all right? No, I love you. Um, take care, everyone, and bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.